Howdy, I'm B. Let me welcome you to the Beer Snobs Radio Show. We are a bunch of friends who are not experts, but we know we like in beer. Our definition of a beer snob is someone who just won't drink craft beer. So sit back and listen to us blind review beers on the Beer Snobs Radio Show. Calling all beer snobs, how you guys doing tonight? I am B, and across the table from me is... Alex. Alex is our number one fan, guys. It's fucking weird. Actually, stop. our only fan. So we put him <laughs> on the show. Yeah, we're going to embarrass him now. Hey, stop listening. Why don't you uh, actually be on the show, and then we won't have a fan anymore. <laughs> Hurt his feelings. Sorry, pal, ahead of time. Now right. you can get to know us and hit us. Okay, right. and across from him is... Damon. And right next to him... Professor. Well, guys, you know, um, we've been sitting back, doing a couple shows, having fun, drinking here and there. And I'm trying to figure out how crazy craft beer is getting. Have you guys, what, what's the weirdest thing you've seen about craft beer recently? I mean, Hef just handed me a bar of beer soap. Beer soap. I mean, beer soap. Yeah, I, I'm a little weirded well, out. Then by that it. would it be the weirdest thing. That would be the weirdest thing I've seen lately. You should wash yourself with it. <laughs> what, what about you, Alex? Um, I think just overall the whole uh, microbrew industry, I think it's really blowing up. I think that that in itself is pretty crazy. From what it was, at least from uh, a year ago, it wasn't as big as it is now. It's just yeah, it's, huge. A, it's a little weird how big it's gotten. It's a little weird that you could find good beer all over the place. And after that, it's like, are you going to eat that? I was about it's goat's milk beer soap. <laughs> Go ahead, take a bite. What? No, no. What are you doing? It's at not least, as bad as you think. Oh my god! No, no, <laughs> all don't natural. eat. It's soap. Milk. Don't eat soap. It's the professor is currently trying to eat beer soap. This is pretty oh awesome. God, it's got goat's milk. Okay, no, that's Come the on. weirdest thing I've seen lately. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact that we have brewery at the brewery opening up and everybody's making a really decent beer—that's kind of awesome. That's really awesome. Damon, what about you? Besides watching the professor try to eat beer soap, <laughs> uh, okay, th- th- this is a little more of a complex answer, but um, uh, the effect that the beer market. Uh, has has been dealt because of the rise of craft brewery. I think is the weirdest thing. And uh, basically, if you haven't noticed, uh, something that we covered on the show in the beer news on on the Damon's Corner uh, episodes back in the you know month or so ago, uh, we did the story about how uh, all the major breweries uh, were dropping by something like you know twenty to forty percent their sales loss. Um, and, and again, it was, I, I postulated at the time that the reason is because more people are drinking craft beer, but the, the shift has gone from not pounding the beers, but to tasting the beers. So I, I didn't realize at the time, like it didn't really make much sense to me until I really thought about it. Like, you know, the, the entirety of beer, the sales have dropped because craft beers rose and the more craft beer rises, the more beer in general sales will, will fall. It's it's strange. It doesn't really make any sense because, but when you realize they're just not selling in mass as much anymore, but they're still selling enough that the craft brewers are doing okay, but that it's killing the major ones. The the it's 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 strange. The the the, the math when you look at it. The more beer out there, the less beer gets sold. Yeah, it's it's like some kind of weird ratio. Like uh, for every every ten beers they're no longer drinking, they're drinking one craft beer or something weird like that, or. Or maybe it's more like eight to one. I don't know. Huh. But th- it's weird. It's weird. So craft beer does really well and beer in general suffers. Yet it's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like, I mean, what it is is craft beer will either die a hero or live long enough to see themselves become the villain. I think that's already starting. Oh, dude. No, I'm serious. <laughs> what do you mean, dude? Think about it. You know, if they're going to be the I'm sorry, of beer dude, what would you prefer? <laughs> you stupid fuck. <laughs> If it's going to see themselves become like the bane of the beer world. Well, no, they're already the, they're the, already the bane of the beer world, jackass. I understand that, but it's not, I mean, you know, the propaganda that, you know, gets spread from the big well, no, brewers. The, the thing is, the is, thing is, is this is the reason why the big, uh, the big craft, the big brewers, the big companies are trying to do craft brew. What they don't realize is if they actually get good at craft brew, they're still going to be shooting themselves in the leg because even though they will end up getting a market share of craft, they're going to be killing the brands that they sell in mass. Well, in, in general, that's the too. weird poetic irony of the whole thing you is that they're mean. actually fighting for their own failure. You know what's awesome, guys? Beer number one. Wait, God wait. Damn it. We weren't even done. No, 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 you are done. No, professor. Beer number one. Professor didn't get to say what he thought was weird. You really want him to go through that? Yeah, do it. No, I'm done. First of all, let's smell the beer. I agree on beer number <laughs> one. Just say the soap. 
The fucking soap was delicious. Okay. Mm, delicious. Drink your goddamn beer. No, smell your goddamn beer first. Do it. Jesus. Uh, I smell not, a Heineken. Not a good head. I'm trying. I I'm whipping this one. Heineken. I'm whipping this one up and not getting a good head out of it. Alex, what do you think? Yeah, it just it reminds me of like a Steinlager or a Heineken, something along the lines. In a green bottle, huh? Yeah, In yeah, a colored definitely, bottle. Definitely mm, what a shock. It's not very fa- fragrant at all. Not, not very much going on. Oh, that's horrible. Oh my god, it smells horrible. That's yeah. that's skunky. It smells like a it smells like a bud. It, it, it smells like a regular bud. It, it tastes skunky. Why? Why I, am I here again? I didn't I didn't buy this. This is me. Who, who bought this? Hef, that bastard Hef is poisoning us. He is. <laughs> That's the, what happened. They're trolling us with it, shit. It's, it's really skunky. I'm afraid to taste this. I no, no, too. it's skunky. It is what it is. It's not good. I'm going to have to choke this shit down. This is horrible. Do you remember when, when we were in Seattle and Hilliards had the beer that had the, the, the marijuana infused in the beer? No. T- this, Hilliards. Oh, I don't God. remember they having marijuana beer. I remember drinking a lot, though. It tastes like still I reserve. Did. And it, the smell kind of throws it off still a reserve, little. Really. It tastes like still reserve. No, you do not taste apples and shit. <laughs> I taste apples. But you don't taste shit, so it ain't still reserved. I'm sorry, do you drink your beer out of people's asses? How does you, it taste like actual shit? Do you not shit? remember the taste of still reserved? Yeah, it tasted like, um, I remember mine Apples had, and ass. I remember they wa- they didn't wash my glass thoroughly. I had a little soap in mine. So for some so it reason, tasted it tasted better. like some weird, it tastes like some weird apple hef hybrid. It was well, weird. He needs so to Alex, try it again. Alex, did you ever think that you'd see this live? No, and, and, not be, at all. <laughs> what a privilege, huh, Alex? <laughs> yeah. It's great. That is it just I, I, as I'm, is it just as awful as you thought it would be? Yeah, no, it, it definitely reminds me of some sort of a malt beer. It's uh, it's not good at all. So, Hef, what did you bring us? Yeah, let's just get, oh, let's just reveal Jesus, this piece this of is shit. Horrible. Oh my god. Oh my shock. god. Green bottle. What a shock. No, but it's a craft beer. Trumer Pills. Trumer Pills is only brewed, only made in uh, San Francisco. It's actually supposed to be one of the better oh. beers you can get, but since it's in a green bottle, it's actually not good at all. Berkeley. It's crap. <laughs> hey, Berkeley, you don't know how to make a pills. Fuck off. What is the There's what my is okay? Now maybe you know, D, you can like. What is the appeal of green bottles? What, what is, is the appeal? appeal? What is the appeal? What is the appeal of green bottles? Are you, what you ain't going me, away? What, what are you asking me? Because I'm Irish. Like what? Yes, you Mick. Is it <laughs> something that it's not going away? Apparently, it's not. Listen, you fucking wasp. I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't know why people like green bottles. I think they're trying to be stylish. Like, brand, 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 boring. And then you can't make clear bottles because that means you're a jackass that doesn't care if your, your beer gets light damage. But green, they think, is, is some kind of, there's some style to it. You know what I didn't know? It fucking sucks. It fucking sucks. And I'd like to tell the world right now, on behalf of the beer snobs, stop calling your loggers pilsners. Just because it's a fucking lager does not mean it's a Pilsner. A Pilsner is a fine pail, not your crappy fucking lager. Berkeley, fuck off. I'm glad, I, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad Google's sending their buses in and fucking up your traffic. <laughs> fuck you <laughs> and your fucking lack of understanding of what a Pilsner is, you fucks. Trumer Pils. Trumer brought it. Do they even Berkeley. deserve that push? It's a style German Pilsner. 179 a bottle. A German style Pilsner. Trumer Pils is characterized by a distinct hop flavor. High carbonation, light body, a combination of sass and Australian hops, malt mashing process, and proprietary yeast make the Strummer Pills unique among beers. Now, here it is. If you have this on tap, it's not bad. I, I remember when me and Rob went to a, a bar called the, uh, the Layover when we were in uh, San Francisco. Had this on tap. We were drinking all night long. Really good stuff. But in, in the bottle, it just got too skunky. It, it wasn't. Maybe it just took a bunch of light damage. Maybe took- I'm not being fair and it just took a lot of. Uh, uh, excuse me. That's <laughs> your uh, answer. Maybe I'm not being fair. Maybe it just took a lot of light damage. No, I Maybe think I think you're being fair because the fact is everybody else is going to have it this way too. I'm just I'm really sick of getting these beers and it says pills on it like it's a fucking pilsner and it doesn't taste like a pilsner. It just tastes like a fucking lager. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm done. Okay, Alex, what about you? Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't enjoy that at all. Um, the more I I drink it though, the more it the flavor was disappearing. So the flavor would completely dissipate the more I drink this. Not good at all, though. Professor? I'm willing to try it on tap. I am willing to try it on tap, but this bottle green bullshit business is now, is a killer. I'm with you guys. I think the green bottle is what ruined the flavor for us more than anything else. I think the light damage from the beer caused it to get really skunky. And, you know, there's right times for skunky beer. Like if you're having really, really strong seafood or something, knocks out the knocks out all your taste buds. But when in this type of situation, we're drinking a beer as, a, as, what, it, as what it would have or as we would get in a store. 
I don't recommend this. So the bottle, the bottle design doesn't look that bad. Although no, it does look like it's ripping off uh, Bacardi. It's, Thank you. That's exactly. Yeah. It's really Definitely clean. Definitely Bacardi. Really clean design. And it's it's like legendary up in the bay. The Trumer Pills is like a legendary beer. Up yeah. You can get it damn near everywhere. The the design is like if Bacardi made a That's, wine. It's boring packaging. <laughs> it's, it's boring. No, no, honestly, I don't mind simple stuff like this. I just hate the fact that it looks like they ripped off Bacardi. They did. This is really sad. But, well, guys, we got beer number two. This better be good. Oh, well, it's going to be good. Well, it's going to be better than that. I agree so far. Well, yeah. I can't smell anything. I can't. Teeny tiny head. That's all it's got. Teeny tiny head. Alex, go ahead and say whatever you're thinking. Just right in the mic. Uh, the color is nice on it. Um, nice uh, light red in there. Some brown. Uh, but the color is very nice. You get that, a very malty smell. I don't know if it's going to be in the taste. That taste is not good. It's oh, overcarbonated. This is fantastic. Overcarbonated. No, I really want to drink it. It's over. It tastes overcarbonated. <laughs> no head, and it tastes overcarbonated. And how malty. the hell does that? This is how the hell does it manage beer. that? This is like a Marzen, but a Marzen done poorly. Shittily? Poorly. Yeah. I don't think shittily is a word. It, it is, is now. now. <laughs> we'll allow it. Yeah, I, and definitely in that category. Anybody else has anything else to say about this? Other than the fact that it's not good? <laughs> There's very little sweetness. Marzen does tend to have sweetness. I may back off a little on that, but it, it, I think it's a, a try. I can that. taste Maybe flavor. Maybe a There Maybe is Doppelbach. There is flavor in this beer, and it is muted by the fact that it tastes overcarbonated, which is weird because there's no head. I don't understand. This it makes no. This is an oxymoron. That should have been the name of the beer. There's a little smokiness in the back, but it's very faint, very faint. It yeah, you can timid. barely taste yeah, it over the over the very, very carbonation. Yeah. It's just, but I, I you know, like I said, I think it's just it's over malty and D's right with the carbonation. I did get a slight smokiness, but this is again someone that's I don't know. It's are you guys ready for the reveal? Yes. Might as well, Shiner. There we go. Well, Shiner, Shiner Bach. That. Is that surprising it, it, or what? It definitely tastes different in the glass than it does out of the bottle. Tip back a bock. Brewed with rich roast barley, malt, German specialty hop. This light hop American style dark lager always goes down easy. Originally a, se- a seasonal beer, fans have demanded it year round since 1973. Pairs nicely with pork sitting, washer tossing, and dog petting. That's pretty cool. So this is Steiner Bock from Spotsil Brewing. And while you're petting the dog, do you feed it this? You could. That'd sure, be a good idea. You should. Dog beer. Dog beer. I'm shocked. That works. I mean, we, have you, we all have had Shiner before, yeah, right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Shiner's one of the bigger breweries in Texas. I actually haven't. Really? Really. Shiner I've is, actually enjoyed it. I just, for there. whatever reason it's now. It's huge in Texas. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not a bad beer. It's just, I guess right now we're just been away for so long, like a whole week or so. That it's just so shitty. We're not getting good beers. Well, maybe, maybe it's also the fact that beer like this is not meant to breathe. I don't think I maybe think right. maybe that's it. Maybe beers like this are meant to be chugged. They're not meant to breathe, and we're actually tasting what's in it. I mean, no, no, even I, though it's still really cold, I, which, actually, actually, which I, should mask the flavor. I, I give you this. I don't think they're meant to be poured in a cup like this. I think they're supposed to be drank out of the bottle. I think it's supposed to be drank and drank quickly. I don't think this is supposed to be tasted. Hmm. I don't think uh, there's a lot of beer companies that do not that do not aerate when they when they rate the flavor of their beers, and obviously Shiner's one of them. And unfortunately, we did, and it doesn't taste good. Right. Alex, what do you think? No, I'm just shocked that that it's a Shiner. I mean, I, I've always enjoyed Shiner, and drinking it out of these tulip glasses. I mean, I just it, the flavor had just been transformed. Yeah, it's, it's you well, you get more aroma, but I didn't, couldn't even smell anything out of this glass. I mean, when we yeah. first we first started stirring it up, I couldn't get a good aroma out of it. I, I just got that malt flavor, but it wasn't like there was nothing significant about this beer that makes me want to say you should go buy this. I mean, there's plenty of other browns or dark lagers you can pick up that are just about the same, and you can do it. I mean, I'd pick this up because it's cheaper than everything else. Yeah, it's definitely That's about cheap. it. It's not, it's not a bad beer per se because, uh, again, from our perspective of being beer snobs and doing this show over 200 times, that means over 400 beers. We we have a different palate than most other people would have when they're rating beer. So yeah. Also, we're tasting in, in tulip glasses, which is meant to oxygenate the beer and let the flavors actually come out 
the naturally brewed, brewed flavors come out. And unfortunately, there are some beers that just are not meant to be tasted like this because they're meant to be drank and slammed. And, and you know, I mean, at best in a, in a keg, they're meant to be poured into a regular pint glass. But yeah, this this beer just disappoints when you actually taste it. Professor? It's definitely the lesser of the two evils, though. True. And, you know, the maltiness was the key factor here. And it was consistent throughout, if anything. You uh, think it was a lesser of two evils? Well, which one do you pick for the beers? Gee, I wonder. Well, we. Uh, I'm just saying, in comparison to what we've had to there to here, it's not bad. What was the first one? The Trumer Pills. The Trumer Pills? Yeah. Your shitty pills is better than this Shiner Bach. You think so? I disagree. Wow. Yeah, you I know why? disagree you know with why? you on You know one. why? Because even the shitty flavors, I could taste them. I couldn't taste shit. Over that oxygenation, I all I tasted was the equivalent of you know if you ever go to a, a fountain drink machine and accidentally uh, hit the carbonated water tab, that's pretty much what I tasted in this beer. It was offensive. Okay, the other one sucked, but at least I could taste flavors in it, so okay. I have to go for the first one. We got Damon for uh, Trumer Pills. Alex. I'll, I'll probably be alone in this, but uh, definitely uh, Shinerbach, Professor. You, you are sure shit alone in this one, Shinerbach. I'm I'm agreeing with everybody else. I'd rather have the Shiner for the, the pills, unless it's on tap. And I'm in C- and my surface and I'm in San Francisco having a good time for some reason. Drinking beer at the pier. I'll take lackluster flavor over carbonated crap any day. Okay. Well, guys, we have a vote of three to one. Shiner Buck, you are the beer of the show. Uh wow. This is weird coming back to this and having shitty beers over and over again. I forgot about it. Yeah, this is getting old. <laughs> this is getting old. So this better be good. I'm B from the beer hey, stuff. Remember, remember, we're tasting these so you don't have to. And and uh as we say, uh as we've said before, go out and try these yourselves. Don't just take our word for it. Go out and t- and taste them and come up with your own judgments. We we taste it, but you decide. So I'm B from the Beer Snobs, and I will see you at the bar. Uh, I'll be the same. Let's see you. Calling all beer snobs, I am B, and you just heard one of our shows. Guess what else you can do? You can find us on the interwebs at Twitter, Facebook, G+, and we're on the Stitcher Radio Network. Be our friend on our social networks to find out what we're up to and find interesting beer articles we're releasing. If you want to advertise with the beer snobs, you can contact us at marketing at thebeersnobs.com. If you want to give us beer suggestions, you can find us at info at thebeersnobs.com or any of the social networks you can reach us. And as always, I'll see you at the bar. Thank you.